training. Well, now it happened. I drove into the cutter. Oh, fuck. I drove by their mailboxes and broke that. Okay, I have to go and talk to those people. I was suspecting this. I was looking for a place to nap. Oh, car towing service calling. I'm glad I'm in. Jan Flink. Okay, so my car accident, I sleep, slipped just a little bit off the road and, and it was slippery. Uh, just in here, in the mud. Gladly I'm a car unionist uh, member. I'm so glad I took it. Muddy, muddy. There's a neighbor's post boxes. But, uh, no, where there are little scr scratches on the hood, but that's nothing really. Um, unless something happened under there. We'll see, we'll see. I have to talk to the neighbors. Here. It's so he even so he did. And do right. I was just going home from the Urbex trip. <laughs> It's a, a slippery road. Where was the neighbors? Post boxes. But they are never, ever more, never more. <laughs> so here. My car. Slipped and went there. Okay, neighbors. Okay, it seems that I ha only have to pay 50 as the guy asked 30 euros from that post, uh, post box system. Which is a letter from. <laughs> For him, well, I have to dig him this house chamber. But he settled. I said, uh, I pay whatever you ask. Uh, so we settled 50 euros.
that's not much I go get that cash right now okay that guy settled for 40 euros I didn't have any more watch again here my sliding just a slippery road weather it started to rain morning so if I it would be dry it would be probably like that but now sliding I pack my packs so this is going to be a repaired or demolished that could be possible it too oh, I pack my packs uh, there's no reason to well you could get mad when this happened but I really didn't care at the end that it's this, this car I, I didn't expect it last more than two years they are so cheap, cheap cars which I buy like 800 euros. Um, but I confess I was uh, so sleepy. But, but I did, I did uh, seek the place to sleep for a nap, a nap a little. But I got those micro sleeps and I slipped my tire from the road a little bit then. Luckily, I had so, so good luck there, there wasn't trees there. I could die, have died there. Uh, and by the way, car is fine, there's barely just some dents on it. But still, whew! I'm the regu regular customer. I I used it last year also. Little damage. I'm going to try to pull this way. It's so slippery in the mud and water. Maybe I shouldn't get out of the car. He's doing all the work and I'm just chilling in the car. I had to turn the tires. I don't think I'm supposed to be on the car when he's pulling. He's pulling us up.
Did you see anything? Now we're almost up. He's driving there and pulling us from there. That's the safest way. He left me, he left me here. Yeah, yeah he, he came back. What do you think? Did the, that post box thingy cost that made, made damage to my car? And do I need to rest in peace, Valerie? What do you think? Do I have to buy a new car again? I say that these urbex chips are so expensive always. I even got the ticket at the beginning of the adventure. It was driving just a tiny bit too much. The restriction was 80, I think, and I was driving, driving like 81. Still, a ticket. There we came from. Ei, mä oon tehnyt vaikka tuota... Ei, mä oon tehnyt vaikka Everything worked right. I was already packed my bag so I could travel to from this town to other town. But we got out of there. What damage we have in the car. We we'll see when we try but that guy said that only superficial damages. This and license plates, that details doesn't matter if the car works. Oh, what a luck. What a luck. See from there. Damn, I was careless. I had to more focused on driving him. He told me to pack up my car a little bit to check out if it's okay. He told me to steer a little bit the wheel <laughs> and I was close to hit to that post box. <laughs> It would have been so funny if I would knock out the other post box too. Uh, it cost only 40 euros to 
pay that guy a new post box. I, I, I only had 40 euros. I, I would have paid 50 if I would have had cash more. Okay. Now more focused, be more focused. Because it's a slippery road now. Oh, oh what a day, oh, what a day, oh, what a day. Hope this runs to the home. We'll see. Hope it, it works. Hope oh, just with twitches. I just want to park my car a little bit. Rainy. It's been a few hours before the accident, and I got some sleep, few hours sleep. You know, some. Did I film it? I might have been. Some side of the road, I parked there and stepped a little bit. Um, three, four hours exactly. Um, and now I almost ran into a deer, which wasn't my fault. I actually had the good reflexes to push the brake. Just, just, just enough. I make half a meters away of crashing him, and he just keep going in the same way. Oh, car, okay. Deer, reindeer had no idea how close he was to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my well, I'm almost satisfied. It. I feel a little bit my car. From the accident, uh, something kind of shakiness, something got bended a little bit, some tire maybe, but that doesn't matter in us uh, when I mainly in the winter try uh, to work and home, and work and home, and work and shop and home, and work and sh shop and home, and work and home, and work that kind of small. Small, 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 small roots. So little, little damaged car or old cars and that kind of stuff. Cars uh, suits that kind of driving, but not in a long driving. In long driving, I think you need a good car. At least when you have these narrow roads. Where it's only like this side, uh, uh, this uh, much of hitting each other. Why are these roads are so small? These are meant to only uh, like one car, almost. Uh, yeah, it's, it, this is insane. In the future, they will think, but how could they try in a Death trap, death traps, car like those in uh, those uh, freaking small roads that are death traps by themselves. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. Doesn't anyone else to think this same way? And the reindeers. In the future, they have done something to those. Because there are like a 4,000 reindeer <coughs> accident in Finland, or it could be much more. 
or Lapland for 4,000 reindeer crashes every year. So this is a stupidly unevolved thing that we endear because it doesn't happen to everyone. We others are immortal. Right? Right? Said Fred. Here's Steve with Valerie. Uh, it seems that th that car is fine. It runs fine. Only dent on the hood, but that doesn't bother me. So 
everything's fine. That's neat. Okay. We need to quit. Bye-bye.